So the One Piece chapter dropped a couple of days ago and I couldn't make a review just because uh, of how late it actually dropped for some reason. It didn't drop on Thursday. I believe it dropped later in the night, maybe even on Friday. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't read it until the next day when everyone had already re uh, read the chapter. So here I am, I'm talking about the chapter, but I, this is video is not primarily focused on the chapter. I just kind of want to highlight this moment in One Piece because this is a very special moment in One Piece for a multitude of reasons. Firstly, you know, we are in the final saga of One Piece, so there aren't many arcs left and there aren't going to be many startings for an arc left in One Piece, right? This, the starting of this arc kind of feels similar to how pre-timeskip arcs started or even how earlier arcs in the uh, post-timeskip started like Dressrosa and Punk Hazard. Now, I wouldn't say this is a starting like Egghead because Egghead, were, we were kind of just like thrown into the chaos. This one kind of has a calmer starting. I mean, there is chaos, right? But it's not like, not like end game chaos. You're just fighting a cat and some giant other animals. And I think after this arc, every other arc is going to have like an Egghead type of starting where you're just kind of thrown into the chaos right away. And this is probably one of the last arcs of One Piece we're going to have. Like one of the last ones, probably not the very last, but it's definitely one of them, right? Another reason this arc is very special is because this arc, has been hyped up since the pre-time skit, right? Since I, I want to say maybe during, you know, the, the the little garden, right? Where Dory and Bragi were having their fight and Usopp got inspired by giants and, you know, mentioned that he wants to visit Elbaf. And then it was, you know, it, it continued to get hyped up after, uh, during Water 7 where we met Oimo and Kashi once again in tandem with Usopp's character. So this, this arc has been hyped up for a very long time and it's a very special arc for a certain character, a certain straw hat that a lot of us, you know, like really like. We A lot of us like Usopp. Usopp, in fact, is one of the reasons why Water 7 is considered one of the greatest arcs because of the, the whole drama that happens between them, between Luffy and Usopp. And Elbef has constantly been talked about throughout the entirety of the series. There's been like hints at it, mentions of it. Um, we've consistently seen giants throughout the series and we just never knew much about Elbaf in of itself. So that's the thing. I'm really excited about this arc. I think there, this arc is going to have so much for all of us, right? For the people that love fights, there's going to be fights. For the lead people that love like character growth, there will be character growth because this is an arc that's for Usopp and for probably Luffy as well. And that's personally what I enjoy in arcs more. Like I love, you know, action heavy arcs. I love battle arcs, which is, you know, what was shown in is about. But to me, I, I think my favorite arcs in One Piece have always been the arcs that, you know, have some sort of character moments, right? Moments with the Straw Hat specifically. I love Saba Odi because of that ending with, you know, Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hats. I love Water 7 because of what happened between Usopp and Luffy. All my favorite moments in One Piece have been character moments and I'm hoping and I really think that this will be a character moment for Usopp specifically but maybe other characters as well like Luffy of course and maybe Zoro maybe maybe even Nami right because it seems like Nami's gonna play a pivotal role in this arc from just the start. But yeah that's kind of all I wanted to talk about I don't have much time to make this video even longer than I want. Because once again, I got to wake up early in the morning tomorrow. But yeah, listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, One Piece content, make sure you follow, subscribe. I'm sorry about like the lack of the review. If the, if the chapter came out earlier, as it usually does, I would have had a review out. But I guess this is better than nothing because there wasn't much that happened. I mean, there was a lot, but not much we could have gone into detail with. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, everyone. Have a great day. Bye bye.